I'm back. Did you miss me? Hi, I'm Danny Quinn, and wow, I cannot believe 2018 is now officially over. Like, holy shit, that year just went by so damn quickly. Now usually I personally consider the month of January to be something of a transitional period where we say goodbye to the old and welcome in the new. And for me personally, it's something that does kind of take me a month to do. So as far as I'm concerned, it's not officially 2019 until February. So where does that leave January? I don't know. Sort of that awkward period where it's not quite the old year, it's not quite the new year, it's just sort of, like I said, a transitional period. And in this video, I'm just gonna personally look back on some of the highs and lows of 2018. Oh boy, 2018 was certainly a year. Yeah, 2018 was kind of a low point for a lot of people, myself included. It just seems like every other day there was something bad that happened in the world. Whether it be Brexit, the latest scandals coming out of the White House, or just America in general. A disappointing film that failed to live up to expectations. Seeing fandoms explode into a war of wars over very polarising and divisive films. Finding out that your heroes and idols weren't exactly who you thought they were. Basically, it was more the same old shit, just a different year. Nothing more, nothing less. Well, okay, kind of a bit more, but you get my drift, right? And this year was just kind of a bummer, at least on a global scale. But even on a more personal scale for me, the year was still kind of a shitstorm as well. Yeah, this year has been kind of rough on me personally. Not to the extent of some other people, but I did kind of struggle with my own personal issues. Self-doubt, anxiety, a lack of confidence, depression, were all quite common themes for me throughout the year. And I think it did affect my output of videos as well, because I just wasn't making that many this year. At the start of the year, I was kind of hoping I'd be able to make many, 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 many videos. Many more than I did in 2017, but if I'm being honest, I did slack off for large chunks of the year. Like, I'm not even shying away from saying that. <sighs> I'm not even sure if I really have a valid enough excuse for that, but... What else can I say? I just kind of slacked off this year. I didn't really make a lot of stuff. I just kind of struggled. I didn't really have a lot of confidence in myself. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm sincerely glad it's over. It's finally done and dusted. It's yesteryear's news. And we can finally put it to rest. We might as well say good riddance to bad rubbish right now. But at the same time, I must admit, it wasn't all bad. It really wasn't. I definitely think there was more than my fair share of highlights throughout the year. And despite all the crap that went on in my life, and because I kind of want to try and look at things from a more positive perspective, I feel like it really helped me in a big way. I feel like I've become a much wiser and stronger person because of it. And I'm hoping that's something I can continue to do and keep up in 2019. If you know me personally, you know I'm the kind of person that likes to be positive about things. I'm not a very negative person. Like, especially when it comes to films, I much prefer talking about things I like, as opposed to things I don't like. So without further ado, sit back, relax, make yourself a nice wee cup of tea, and enjoy as I count down some of my personal highlights of 2018. Some of the things I'm personally most proud of. Some of the films I saw that I really enjoyed, etc, etc. It's not a traditional top 10 best and worst of list in the traditional sense because again I kind of slacked off this year and I didn't really see as many films as I would have liked and I'll get more to that later but let's go. So here's a list of some of the things that I'm personally most proud of in 2018. During my time on work placement I filmed and edited a 10 minute video highlighting my tech special needs class. And the video got a very positive response from my employers, fellow staff, and even some of the students in the class I was in. I was able to grow a mighty fine beard on several occasions before being forced to eventually trim it because I looked like a fucking caveman. I worked as an actor on a scene recreation from The Breakfast Club, and even got a photo of my co-stars that reflected the look of the original. Uncanny resemblance, am I right? I also began working on a couple of scripts this year, and I'm actually pretty confident about my writing ability for the first time in... Ever. I created an alternate movie trailer for American Psycho that made it more like a light-hearted comedy, 
and I think I did a pretty good job editing it and putting it together. Plus I think Worlds and London fit surprisingly well with it. I took a lot of photos in very beautiful and lovely locations and took even more photos that really helped to develop my portfolio, as well as my skills as a photographer and a visualist. I spent a lot of time with my two nephews developing my relationships with both of them and really strengthening the special bonds I have with them. I made a couple of shorts that, while not very good at all, did help me to build my potential career as a filmmaker and show off what I could do with the limited resources I had. I travelled around quite frequently and even moved off to Derry in order to start college. And most importantly, I watched a shitload of movies in 2018. Not just new ones, but also old ones that I've never seen before. And without further ado, here are some of the movies I saw in 2018, both old and new. Starting with the new. Three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri, The Shape of Water, Lady Bird, Black Panther, Adventures of Infinity War, Deadpool 2, Incredibles 2, Hereditary, Mission Impossible Fallout, Black Klansman, Searching, A Quiet Place, Mandy, A Star is Born, Aquaman, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, Stan and Ollie, Halloween, etc etc. And then there's also a couple of classics and cult classics that I saw for the first time this year that I never gotten around to scene before this year. Such as Casino, The Exorcist, In Bruges, Female Trouble, Dress to Kill, Blowout, Band with the Paradise, Body Double, Sisters, Obsession, wreck it Ralph, The Lost Boys, In the Mouth of Madness, Coming to America, True Romance, Cannibal Holocaust, Silence of the Lambs, etc, etc. But unfortunately, just like any other year, there was also a lot of movies that came out that for whatever reason or another, I just never got around to seeing, unfortunately. Eighth Grade, Suspiria, Widows, Apostle, Annihilation, Game Night, Thoroughbreds, The Death of Stalin, Isle of Dogs, You Were Never Really Here, Tully, Revenge, First Reformed, Ghost Stories, The Endless, Upgrade, Hotel Artemis, Blind Spotting, A Prayer Before Dawn, Bad Times of the El Royale, Tag, Christopher Robin, The Miseducation of Cameron Post, Assassination Nation, Colette, Roma, Boy Erased, The Ballad of Buster Scruggs, Anne in the Apocalypse, The Old Man and the Gun, Can You Ever Forgive Me, Sorry to Bother You, Outlaw King, A Simple Favour, The Night Comes For Us, If Beale Street Could Talk, Cold War, and Mary Queen of Scots among several others. And unfortunately there's also a lot of TV shows I never really got around to seeing either. Stuff like Jessica Jones Season 2, Daredevil Season 3, The Haunting of Hill House, Westworld, Better Call Saul, and also because I don't have a PS4 as of yet, I haven't been able to play the new Spider-Man or the new Red Dead Redemption, which I've only heard great things about, but I'm kind of unable to play them at the moment. They all do look pretty damn awesome though. So if you're wondering why I haven't done a proper best and worst of list for 2018, there's your reason why. I just kind of got a little bit overwhelmed at points and just didn't really bother to go out and see a lot of films or watch a lot of films. I didn't really make the time to see a lot of films. And I'm hoping maybe in the rest of January I can catch up on some of the films I've missed and maybe do a best and worst of list in some capacity. I'm not making any promises, but here that's what I'm hoping I can do eventually. Nevertheless, I really hope that I can improve upon this considerably in 2019. Speaking of 2019, Let's move past 2018, sweep it all under the rug, and move on to... I really don't know what's going to happen in 2019. The world's still just as fucked as ever. Brexit's going about as farcically as ever. Northern Ireland is still without a government. And I bet you're probably wondering, why the hell did I just bring up politics there for a minute when I generally don't talk about them on my channel? Mainly because it did affect my own mood in the past couple of years. I worried about a lot of things that, at the end of the day, I didn't really have much control over. I don't really have much control over how fucked up the world is. And I think that's something I've learned over the past two years, especially in 2018. I can maybe do a little bit to influence it, but I can't exactly do much to change it drastically. I'm not a superhero, unfortunately. All I can really do at this point is just let people know how I feel about a certain situation, and focus more on changing myself for the better. And I think my main aim for 2019 is to just personally be happy. I'm not sure how it is I'm going to go about doing that. My main aim at the moment is to just keep doing what I was doing towards the end of 2018. You know, writing scripts, filming videos, going places, not angsting about every other thing that comes across my plates, developing my skills as a photographer and as an aspiring filmmaker, watching movies with my friends and my family, getting out and seeing places, going to the cinema on a semi-regular basis, and continuing to build up my reputation somewhat. 
hands. Little things like that. Nothing too drastic or complicated. But if there is one thing that I am going to be changing in 2019, it's the channel itself. Again, nothing too drastic or anything like that, but I am going to be changing things up quite a bit. I kind of want to start introducing some new shows that I keep yammering on about, like Cinematic Marmite and all that other stuff that I talked about in my last update video, which was two months ago. And I also kind of want to revamp the first impressions format a little bit. I'm not sure what I'm going to do exactly. I'll only know really for sure once I start trying to do my glass review, which comes out no, I'm really looking forward to seeing that, so I hope to get that review done as soon as possible. I've also noticed that I got a fairly favourable response to my movie manifesto from November of last year. So I think for 2019, I'll probably try to do more videos in that style. I've kind of wanted to do videos like that for a long time, as I'm a pretty big fan of YouTubers like Patrick Willems and Ryan Hollinger, who do YouTube stuff in a more analytical style. And maybe I could get around to doing my big video where I talk about The Last Jedi and how awesome it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll definitely do that in 2019 at some point. Maybe to coincide with the release of episode 9. I'm sure a lot of you guys will be really looking forward to that, won't you? And as for things I'm looking forward to in 2019, yeah, there's quite a lot to look forward to in 2019. I'm going to be heading to Poland in June, and then once I get back, I'm going to be seeing Metallica at Slain Castle. I cannot wait for that, it's going to be fucking awesome. But the one thing I'm personally most looking forward to is going to Berlin. As part of my college course, I'm going to be going to the Berlin International Film Festival, and I'll probably document my travels on this channel in some capacity. Either way, I hope you guys stay tuned for that, because I'm really looking forward to going to Berlin. And I'm really looking forward to talking about my personal experiences at it. I've also kind of thought about maybe starting my own vlog style series. Oh god, no, not like that. Just something where I talk about, you know, things. You know, maybe what's going on in the world, my own personal experiences, tell me stories talk a wee bit about my autism, which is something I kind of wanted to talk about at some point on this channel, maybe. I'm not sure yet. I have a few ideas in mind, and I'm currently planning to sort of debut this series once I go to Berlin, or maybe beforehand whenever I return to college in a week's time. I'm not sure yet, but I'll try to keep me updated and in the loop as much as I can, okay? And I've also kind of flirted with the idea of trying to do live streams and podcasts if possible. Again, I'm kind of an experienced and um, out of my element there, so I might need a wee bit of experience before I start doing that sort of thing. I'll probably learn, I'll hopefully learn this year. And again, I'm not sure what I'm going to do exactly in that regard, this is just an idea I've had in my head for a while, I've wanted to do it for a while, I've just never really gotten around to doing it, so... Hopefully, that might actually become a reality and not just some silly, deluded dream I have, you know? It doesn't matter how much you think about it, all that really matters is that it actually comes to fruition, right? But let's face it, the main reason anybody even watches this channel in the first place is to hear my thoughts on movies, and yeah, there's plenty of good movies, or hopefully good movies, that are coming out in 2019. Plenty of movies that I'm really looking forward to seeing. Star Wars Episode 9, Avengers Endgame, John Wick Chapter 3, Captain Marvel, Spider-Man Far From Home, The Lego Movie 2, It Chapter 2, Godzilla King of the Monsters, Dumbo, Alita Battle Angel, Us, Shazam, Toy Story 4, Men of Black International, The Irishman, and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood among several others. I'm sure there's going to be plenty of gems and plenty of turds throughout the year. So to that I say 2019, bring it the fuck on, do your worst. So there you guys have it, that was 2018. I've washed my hands of that goddamn fucking year, and I plan on never looking back. Before I wrap up this video, I must give a very special thanks to my friends and family who helped me throughout this year. You're the best, I love you so very much, I really appreciate what you've done for me this year. And I also want to thank you, whoever you are, if you're watching this video, and you're not me. Thank you! Thank you for tuning in, watching, and supporting, liking, commenting, and doing whatever it is you can to support me. I really wouldn't be here without you guys, and I'm very, 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 very thankful for your support. Thank you once again for watching. I hope you guys enjoy yourselves in 2019. I hope the year is really, really good to you. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, maybe even subscribe to my channel while you're at it. If there's anything I could do to improve my presentation, do let me know. I'm always happy to hear feedback as long as it's somewhat constructive. If you want to follow me on social media or support me on Patreon, links below down in the description. And until next time, I'm Danny Quinn. I hope you have a pleasant evening and don't forget to stay cool.